When people close their eyes and say, Senator, a picture of me does not come up in their head. And that's the problem, right? Like, that's the problem. Good morning. Good morning. You know, not just being queer, gay, um, but also being black, also being from, you know, a poor community. Like, when you know what it's like to be marginalized and treated unfairly simply because of who you are, I think you make a better legislator. They're not trying to shut up everybody. They're trying to shut up young people. Turn off this mic. They're trying to shut up black people. You're not recognized right now. They're trying to shut up marginalized people. If you would lower your tone. And you can tell me to lower my tone, but I'm not going to lower it when we're talking about our democracy and people's votes. And we won't shut up. Malcolm Kenyatta officially launched his campaign for U.S. Senate. That's right, and if elected, he would be the first openly LGBTQ person of color in the U.S. Senate. Pennsylvania's had 53 senators. They've all been white men. Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman is also angling for the working class vote. Malcolm doesn't have the luxury of going on debate stages wearing hoodies. People tend to like giving their money to people who they think can win. The people that we represent, they need us to win this Senate race. They need us to win. People who want the status quo to remain get real nervous when they see one person step up. Because when one person steps up, it gets the other person who's thinking about stepping up, and say, maybe I'll step up too. The fact that he's black shouldn't matter to anyone else. I say that's bullshit. You're so afraid of two little words. I'm sorry. I want to also recognize one of the rising stars, Malcolm Kenyatta. Malcolm Kenyatta. Malcolm Kenyatta. If you don't think things have changed, having a brother in the state legislature with that haircut, that's a change. Wouldn't we love to have a black man as our senator? But a lot of people wouldn't. I think we're past that. We are colorblind. Our best fighters are going to always come from the people who know what it means to be left out and left behind. Do not wait your turn.